Hey Kids Connection Kids, this is Miss Lynn and I'm coming to you from my kitchen. Right now my office is right here in my kitchen at my kitchen table. So I'm making do with what it is just like you guys are probably your kitchen table might be your school for the weeks to come. So um, I just thought I'd get a video together to just talk a little bit about what we've been talking about in our Kids Connection time. We had uh, three weeks together and one that we weren't together on last week. So you can watch the videos online and be caught up with us. And then next Sunday, I'll post another video of the next one. And then starting in April, we'll have a whole new theme. So just a reminder that uh, the first week when we got together, we talked about a servant and the king forgave him of his debt that he owed. Remember, he begged the king and said, I can't pay it. And the king forgave him of all his debt. Well, remember that same servant went to another servant and he told him he wanted his money and he owed way less than the other servant owed the king. But he grabbed him and shook him and said, I want that money. And other people saw it and, and went to the king and said, he won't forgive him his debt. So the king ordered that servant that he had just forgiven all that debt to, to come. And he put him in jail. So we want to remember, forgive others because God forgives you. We know that God has forgiven us. He sent his son to forgive us. Then the next week we talked about Zacchaeus. Now, do you remember Zacchaeus? Can you say Zacchaeus? Go ahead, say it. Very good, very good. Okay, Zacchaeus, he was a tall man. No, was he a tall man? I can't hear you. Oh, no, he was a wee little man. Remember we sang it? He was a wee little man. A le wee little man was he. He climbed up in a sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see. If you remember that or your mom and dad know this song, you guys should sing it right now. Well, maybe after this video. Um, Zacchaeus, remember, people didn't like him. He was a tax collector, but he would collect more than he should have and pocketed their own money, his own money. But he knew the Lord was coming, so he showed up, but he was too short. Miss Lynn knows what that is like. So he climbed a tree. Now, Miss Lynn, at her age, does not climb trees anymore. So anyways... Zacchaeus climbed a tree and Jesus stopped under that tree and said, Zacchaeus, come down. Well, he, first of all, Zacchaeus was surprised that Jesus knew his name, but Zacchaeus came down. He says, I'm, and Jesus told him that he's coming to his house today for dinner. Now I'm saying the song, but you guys understand because that's how the story goes. And so he went to Zacchaeus and you know what? Zacchaeus changed because he saw Jesus and Jesus made him change. Not made him, but Zacchaeus wanted to change because of the things Jesus had taught him. So Zacchaeus went to all those people that he took extra money from and paid him back four times that amount. That was a big change. So we learned that when you forgive others, it can change them. And then we learned about uh, Jesus teaches on forgiveness. And I'm not going to keep going into all the stories, but it, um, the bottom line on that one is take the first step to forgive others. Remember, we heard a story about a girl and a boy we saw and that they were, one was a photographer and one was good at soccer and they were at a camp. Maybe you remember this and they got mad at each other and then they ended up forgiving each other. And so you guys remember that story. And then this last week we weren't together, but there are videos online that you guys can watch. And this one was on the story of the lost son. Now you all have heard this story before of the prodigal son where he asked his dad for his inheritance. His dad wasn't gone yet. He hadn't died, but he wanted his inheritance and he wanted to leave. So he left, but you know what? He spent his money on all terrible things and then he had nothing. 
So then he was working for like a farmer kind of person. He would eat the slop that the pigs ate. And he thought, oh, this is better. This isn't any better. I should go home. He ends up going home. And his father opened, welcomed him with open arms. Now, we're going to hear a little bit more of the story this next Sunday. So stay tuned and listen to that. And the bottom line on this week was everyone needs to be forgiven. We all need to be forgiven. Remember, our theme is forgiveness. Deciding that someone who has wronged you doesn't have to pay. So, I don't mean to point my pencil at you. I just have to have a prop or something in my hands. Anyways, remember, forgiveness is important. And right now, you're at home all together. And sometimes it's hard to be all together and not being able to leave. To either even go to school or go to a friend's or anything like that. But remember, you need to forgive. And, and it doesn't... You should be the one to forgive first. If maybe your sibling isn't forgiving first, okay? You guys, it's a rough time. And I understand that you're all home together. But know that your mom and dad love you. Your siblings love you. You all have to get along. So think of ways that you can all get along and have fun together. I want to remind you about forgiveness. Remember the biggest forgiveness there is, is when Jesus died on the cross for our sins. And that was long before we were even here. And he forgave us of our sins that are happening now and in the future. And he's forgiven for the days when you have kids or your kids have kids. I know that seems like a long way off in the right time. Right now, that doesn't sound very exciting to you guys at all. But know that he's forgiven us. And he, God sent his only son to die for us. And you know why? So that someday we can go to heaven and live with God forever. But we can't do that on our own. We need Christ in our life. We need to have Christ have our trust put in him and like we've talked about over and over going to church doesn't do it just because mom and dad have asked put their trust in Jesus and asked him into their heart doesn't make you born again and ready to go to heaven you have to do that personally with Jesus and that means you need to pray and ask him to forgive you for your sins and ask them into your heart to be your Lord and Savior. Mom and Dad, I'm sure, can help you. And if do you want to talk to Miss Lynn, please feel free to get a hold of me through your parents. But if you do, please let me know that you've done that. Because I would be so excited to put that on my praise wall. So, Miss Lynn's going to check out here soon. It's getting... Bedtime, probably you guys are all in bed already. It's about nine o'clock. Anyways, I want to remind you, have your parents check us out on either our YouTube channel, Southern Lakes Church, and under there, there's a playlist that says Kids Connection, and I have my videos there. Otherwise, um, on Facebook. Um, I love you guys, and I miss seeing your faces. I got to talk to a lot of your moms and dads today, and that was great. It's good to hear that you all are doing well. Um, I'm going to pray, and then I'll let you go. Dear Jesus, thank you for today. Thank you that we can connect through technology, and thank you that Miss Lynn is learning that. And pray that you'll be with each of these kids and their families. Keep them healthy. We know you are our great provider, our healer. You are so powerful and you love us so much that you will take care of us. Help the kids know that you are always with them. Be with their moms and dads as they start soon teaching them to their schoolwork and um, help everyone to have patience. And Lord, just be with the rest of um, the church families that um, they would continue to be able to watch Pastor Ken's sermons on YouTube and that we can connect in different ways that we're not used to. Thank you today for the beautiful sun and the warm weather. I hope that everyone got outside for a while. And just be with us through the rest of this week. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, kids. I'll talk to you later. Feel free to text, email, 
call, whatever you want. If you want to talk to Miss Lynn, I'd love to hear from you. I'll be at home and I'm my office is right here. So love you guys. Miss your faces. See you later.